Hezbollah refugee camp in Beirut has housed Palestinian refugees since 1949. Syrians and Palestinians fleeing the war in Syria have swelled their numbers to 40,000. Sami Mahmoud and Omar Ahmad have joined the DW Academy Citizen Reporters Training Program. Here in the Shatila refugee camp, there's no press. No one reports from the camp. We're taking that job on and reporting firsthand. The sight of teenage video journalists is unusual here. Omar has even been detained by security forces because he didn't have permission to film. The idea of a free press is a new concept here. It's hard to film people here. Many don't want to be filmed. For many of them, it's completely new. They've never seen a video journalist before. We need to get permission from the camp authorities, otherwise we're not allowed to film here. Fourteen teenagers, both male and female, have been chosen for the DW Academy course in cooperation with a Syrian NGO based in the camp. The training includes research, camera work, editing and storytelling. The young reporters will start a community platform in November, run by refugees for refugees. I would like to be the voice of the young people here. Right now, they're invisible. No one listens to them. Here in the camp, there is a lot of oppression, many things that people don't get to hear about. It's harder for the young female reporters. Some areas of the camp are off limits without a male escort, but they refuse to be held back. We're filming interviews with people in the camp. We're trying to find out what people here need. Their inquiries have already borne fruit. After conducting interviews, the reporters learned about some of the problems in the camp. There's not enough water supply, and trash collection needs improvement. So does security. Those are today's headlines from the new free press in the Shatila refugee camp.